like these Christ come with in the, the, the tabernacle that he talking about. It's not set, y'all don't want to, it, it's sanctified by his glory, y'all. See, this is a shadow of things to come. This is a shadow of things to come. He said, and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. Mm -hmm. huh? And I will sanctify the tabernacle of the congregation. See, if he, if he sanctified the tabernacle that he chose, if he put his hands, if he come within the flesh, then the house itself is sanctified by, y'all don't want to talk to me. When, 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 when he chose the apostles, he told the apostles, he said, go, and whatever house you go off into, set peace be within thee. Prosperity within thy walls. If, if, if they do you right, I want you to go in there and eat whatever they put before you. I want you to heal. I want you to do the work of the back. I want you to do hell with somebody. I want you to let them know that the kingdom of God is at hand. Hell with somebody. But 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 if they if they got traditions and set in their ways and lift it up and want to see that out their own eye, if, if, if the doctor of the nigga lied, y'all don't want to talk to me. I, I want you to come out and breast the dust. Oh, I want you to come out of it and take your peace with you. Get your peace up off that house. Because the only thing that's sanctified in that house is the sanctification that I put in you. And the sanctification that I put in you is God, Jesus, is the glory of the y'all don't want to talk to me. He is the prince of hell somebody. The prince of peace. I want you to go in there and just release what I gave you. Let the Holy Ghost fill up this place up. He said, he, 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 he said, neighbor, this is this is a blessed place. He said, this is a place where God can profit you. He said, God wants your standards. He wanna, he, 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 he's shaping and molding the clay to make some out of it. He said, but when the clay, when, when, when the potter shape something and it don't come out right, he take that clay and beat out somebody and be throw it away. Get on somebody. Because God is, is, is shaping and molding you to be something of somebody. Hello, somebody. God is, is conditioning you. Hello, somebody. God is putting you together. Amen? And, and, and when God can't put you together, when God can't shape and mold you, and, and, and don't let God keep on at you because God will throw you away. Because you think you all of that. See, the, when God adds you onto the body, God bless you in whatever area, huh? Whether it's financially, whether it's faithfulness, or whatever. That's the spirit of wisdom that God put on an individual. But that spirit that's on you, that's prospering you, belong to God to you. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, whatever God gave you to profit you, belong to God. And, and he can, God give us, the Bible don't say the Lord give us, but the Lord tell you, blessed be the name of But see, it's for his purpose. We, we are called according unto his purpose. Y'all don't want to talk to me. See, see if you get drunk, you, you'll get confused. And you'll think it's all about y'all don't want to talk about. You know somebody. Huh? He said, there's any good done, God done it. There's any evil done. God done it. See, God, all, he, he all in it all now. You know somebody? He, he said like, they, they can all run to, like they run to the body, they can run to the church. Uh, they can come to this place, they can come there. He said, but I, I'm sanctified to play. He said, all that come in, he said, the, the sanctification on the place. He, he said, if I come in and sanctify you, if I raise you and resurrect you, then the place is going to be resurrected. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. He said, if I am the resurrection, then the place is going to be resurrection. He said, ain't going to be no, uh, uh, I resurrect, I'm resurrection, and you, Joe Bob. 
He's out of rename you. Out of, out of, out of, I got like, like the new. They might call you open, but I call you resurrection. Amen. You know somebody. They might call you lost, but I call you redeemed. Y'all don't want to talk to me. They might say you're nobody but your mind. You know somebody. See, I, I, not only am I being there, see, being there is just part of. See, I, I, hello, somebody. Being there is just part of, see, because once you understand that I am an heir of God, y'all don't want to talk to me. And a joint heir of Christ, y'all don't want to talk to me. See, as a man thinking, so is he. And if you don't think it out good enough, if you don't know who you are, hello, somebody. If you don't know that you're an heir, hello, somebody. If you don't know you're a joint heir, and if you're a joint heir, ain't no need to fight with the brethren. You either a fellow yoke fellow and try to be a blessing, or you come to bring confrontation and confusion, and you come to the right place to bring it. Because our God never loses about. You know somebody. I mean, God want to bless you. Uh, 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 and has been blessing you. Amen. But, but he said he let trouble in his own house shall inherit the wind. Uh, I'm not trying to lose my bed. I'm not trying to lose my plate. I'm not trying to. See, because I know God feed me better than feed it. Y'all don't want to talk to me. See, I've been out there before. Mm -hmm. I know what's out there. I, 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 I've had a chance to check it out. Uh, I heard the song that said, I've been young and I'm old yet. If I not see the right of a shaker, no, I see it making bread. See, God put bread on the table, clothes on your back, shoes on your back. Folk, folk, folks who walk around hating you, believe me, you're rich. I mean, if they see you rich, I don't see why you don't. Man, with me because I'm rich, I am. Is that what you want me to hear? Go on speaking. You can prophesy that. What you said? You know somebody, hey man, that I receive it, I ain't knocking. You know somebody, hey man, I ain't knocking. Huh? You know somebody, hey amen. You might be a little drunk with the wine, but you still feel with the spirit. I know this here. Don't speak it. <laughs> you know somebody, hey amen. Uh, every warrior go out there and get wounded. Uh, have to come and spend time in the mercy room, in the hospital, or whatever. But I ain't gonna do nothing but get stronger. I'm gonna, when, I, when I can't next time, I know to do a upper cup instead of rock. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, I might be wrestling with somebody. They overtook me now. I just wrestling with it. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. That's what a soldier do. A soldier didn't do it hard as yeah. a good soldier. Hello, somebody. But I, I still know who, who put food on the table, clothes my back. See, see, if the devil gets you to rise it up against the anointed and against the prophet, you messed up for real. Amen. You you drunk for real. Amen. You 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 done cross. You 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 done, look, look at this in the army. They coat marshal you. And, and put you in prison somewhere. They, they, and if it wasn't for the public cry, they'd kill you. And if the soldiers don't, don't walk up off you and let you get killed in battle. Yo, somebody. I'm just saying, hey, amen. Uh, uh, Nicolai may have you see a thing one way. But in God, huh? There's nothing decent at it all. Our God is a God of order. And we don't buck him. Tell us somebody, huh? We don't buck our God. Our God is holy. He, he's sanctified. You know, I, I love Jesus. And when I love Jesus, his decisions are good for me. His decisions are whole for me. His decisions are right for me. I'm not trying to do it my own way. I, I, I want to do it God's way. I'm going to do it God's way. Amen? There ain't no other way, amen? I, I mean, all oh, the world can come against me, but I'm going to do it God's way, the Lord will. Amen. Hello, somebody, amen? Now, now, when you decide to do it God's way, you, you can expect confrontation. 
and there's no confrontation, there's no, there, there's no opposition, that a friend of this world is the enemy of God. Now you got to hello somebody, amen. Uh, if you try to please me, and you definitely ain't pleasing God, amen. If, if you got to say what makes somebody feel good, uh, God house is the house of mourning. God, you better read your Bible. Uh, it, it, it's where you it's where they go in there and, and, and don't be all uplifted and pride and arrogant and when they humble themselves. See, God house is the house of mourning because it's a place you go into and you go into not not trying to think you better than anybody else or you got no more than anybody else. You go in with your head uh, hung down. And, and you ain't trying to be all lifted up because our God is meek and humble. Yeah, yeah. See, I, 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 don't, I don't have a problem understanding that God's house is not a place where you go in arrogant and pride at because I was raised by a country woman that didn't know, that had a third grade education, that picked cotton of a bone in 1911 and walked behind the wagon like they'd come to know the Lord. See, when they knew the Lord, they weren't, they weren't able to go into 7-Eleven so they couldn't buy the Holy Ghost from the shed and left door. They had to come to know the Lord for real, but what about again? But they couldn't go to the front door. They had to go to the back. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Huh? So they had to know the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. And, 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 and I, I, I know from just dealing with her how it went on. Because if I went to my mama's house all lifted up in pride and arrogant, my mama was country enough to tell you. Huh? And then if I went there with a, with my head dropped down, she said, "What's wrong? You know, you know the drill, nothing. Oh yeah, something wrong. You hungry? No, ma'am. Go sit at the table and fix your chair. Somebody wears a top line. Sit down. You want to this bit? I know that how will you stay at that woman you married over there? She, she can't do it like this here. You know it. I know it. Uh, you hear for it." Huh? You, you blow it up, you ain't, you ain't hello somebody, huh? And she'll set a plate there and you go to eat, huh? And she what's wrong? I just trying to feel them pants up. Mm -hmm. What you need? I just need a few hours to get this thing later on now. A couple thousand. Oh, right go in the room and get it. That wall out in front of it. And then she said, You ain't been around in the season. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know the drill. Some of y'all know the drill. Yeah, now you can get arrogant if you want to and jump up and walk out the door. I can stick this by the mouth. And do. And, and, and jump away by touching them. Born 1911. See, the law, y'all ain't used to these kind of laws. My mama didn't whoop me with brooms and whatever. My mama was bad enough with a switch, Jeez. with a belt. And then when we got older, my mama know we started spanking herself because she had a little. Uh -oh. We kept her the We counted that money out. And you get arrogant if you want to. We always say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am, to mama. Always. Hello, somebody. Amen? Amen? That was just respect. Yes, well, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. Huh? And we knew how to talk. Well, what are you talking about your mama for in the church? If I went in my mama's house, calm her down, looking like I need something, she would go ask me. If you come in God's house, all lifted up pride, right. you got everything. Mm. Now, if you come in, in here, you know, keeping a good face on, I could use a little prayer. I do appreciate the prayers that have been going up for me. I come here and let you know that they're working. And I ain't forgot where I come from, so I'm still, I, 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 now that God that went to blessing me, I want to be a blessing. And the reason I want to be a blessing because mama didn't raise no food. And when he changed the water and the wine, I didn't get drunk. I know where my blessing came from. If I know if I if I was dying and didn't have nothing. And now I got a little something. If I start putting a little something in, there'd be a little something else for me. But if I get lifted up and I'm too proud and can't break off, but I then I won't get Do your hand like this, sir. Put it down. 
down by your pocket. And keep that knife out of your hand you've been cutting your own up with. Huh? Stop stabbing yourself in the back. Stop being your own worst enemy. Humble yourself in the sight of the most high God. And in due season, he will exalt you. Stop, stop all that lifted upness. And you better than one another. The disciples in the early church, they, they gave, they sold all their hair. And they gave to everybody so that everybody would be on the same playing field. Because they was not going to let that spirit of pride and arrogance of the doctrine of the Nicolaitans come in and destroy what God has done because they knew that the God we serve was able to surpass all that stuff that was given away and set up and take them up together. You know, it was just as good for God, it's easier for God to lift all of them up as well for God to lift one. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Huh? Hello, somebody. That's, that's, why, he, that's why he said, uh, uh, that, that, that's why he made that statement like he made it. He, he, he said, and, and, and I will say, look at and, and there I will meet with the children of Israel. She has a meet place, and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. Amen. If they testify Jesus Christ come within the flesh, and I will sanctify the tabernacle of the congregation. Now, this is the tabernacle of the congregation. He said, I will send my spirit in through my servant. Hello, somebody. Amen. Because these are the books, these are the places in Exodus where he, he's fixing the, the, he's already built the tabernacle. He fixed the curry. He, he fixed Aaron's robe. He fixed Aaron's son's robe. He's, he's making things right for the priest. He put the mitre on his head. He has put the holiness of the Lord uh, 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 engraved up on the hell on somebody up on the mitre or, or, or the crown that's on his head. And, and, and pomegranates and, and bells around the him when a woman touched the hem of his garment so that when he come in, listen to that, this here. So when he come in, that as he come in, the bells would, would ring uh, because of the bells and the pomegranate. And when he go out, the bells would ring because of the pomegranate and the bell. And, he, and, and therefore, he would not die because if he came in without making it some kind of, y'all don't want to. Huh? After all, the angels cried, hold it, hold it, hold it. You won't sit around there like you would have been sucking on a lemon. And God, but y'all don't want to talk to me. Tell somebody, the priest, the high priest, he had to come in when, when, when he walked and made a noise and rung the bell. And when tell y'all don't want to help, tell somebody. And he said, let the redeemer of the Lord set so that there was a noise to be made. Tell somebody, that was, that was a thanksgiving to be given out. And we serve a holy God, a righteous God, an omnipotent God. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Look at, look at, look at what he said. He said, and, 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 and look at, he said, and I will sanctify the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar, and I will sanctify also both Aaron and his sons to minister to me in the priest's office, and I will dwell amongst the children of Israel and will be their God, and they shall know that I am the Lord their God that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, which is also called the house of bondage, that that situation that you are in, that situation that you've been in, right. that God has brought you out from, from amongst that big demon. See, now you wrestling with some things now. You wrestling with some things now. You're going through some things now. Now everything ain't, ain't humped and nothing in your life, but I tell you this here, the thing that you was wrestling with was so strong on you that you couldn't come in God's house. Now that God has brought you out of the land of bondage, at least you've been brought forth into God's house. Now, those little baby, if they still wrestling and they can't go like they big boys, y'all don't want to talk to me. But as soon as you give up and give it over to God, the way you prayed about that big thing, huh? See, we don't learn a few scriptures now, so we don't pray like we used to. We yawn a lot now. We money hungry now. See, we run behind money instead of seeking the face of God because I can do all things of God that's going to be. See, God will keep you on a job. God will give you a job. You can jump up and run behind a job, or you can close the door, you know, the door to your house and sit off in there and talk with God and see what it is that God wanted you to know what caused you to miss that last job. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, see, you, you, you get out of a relationship 
He want to rush back into a relationship. And I want somebody, without knowing, without dealing with the pain, without dealing with the situation, without restoring you to get you back right. And you want to carry that mess over to something else and mess somebody else up. If they mess, mess your mess up, and then y'all got two messes instead of one. So they mess with your mess, and you mess with their mess. Y'all got a mess, mess going on. And they don't draw mess to the house to eat, and you don't have mess to the house to eat. And y'all got a plate full of mess, so y'all eat mess, and whatever you eat, you don't be. Shall not bow thyself down. I'm looking, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. If you, if you bow down to them, if you bow down to the credit card, if you bow down to the money, if you bow down yeah. yeah. not serve them for the borrowers to serve them. <laughs> for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. I got I need to get this 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 this, this generation of curse off me. Yeah. 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 If that's what it is. Yeah. Now, if you just hating on God, and I can tell you how you do deal with God's people, how you deal with your brothers, 
how you deal with your sister, how you talk about folks around you, how you put them down, how you investigate and try to find out what's in their life, how you put gossip out about people and rumor. They don't say all that the devil is alive. Let me read it again. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, not serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visit the iniquities of the fathers unto the children of the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. What do you mean? Can I just throw something out there? It may or may not be scripture, but can I throw it out there? It's all right. He that said that he loved God but hated his brother is a lie. What you say? I, I said he that hated his brother and said he loved God is a lie. He that blesses God out of his mouth and curses his brother out of the same mouth is a corrupt factor. Is double minded. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Amen. See, my God said I would have mercy and not sacrifice. Amen. See, we quit to spread rumors and lies and then the women when God sent for us to come and sit down in the church until we receive power. Once we receive power to carry the gospel, y'all start carrying gospel. Right. Right. And that's like you don't know what's wrong. Right. You know somebody, huh? You hating on one another. That, look at the only reason that somebody tell you something about the preacher, the deacon, the members, your sisters and your brothers. Is because they don't care for you. Hello, there. my name is Apostle Oldsby Lockett, Pastor of Resurrection Temple House of Prayer. I want to break into our service just to give you an opportunity to get your life right with God. The Bible says, if you will confess out of your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I can give you an opportunity right now to join me in prayer. And if you'll pray this prayer from the depths of your heart, sincerely, believing and trusting in the Lord. I know everything will work out for you. Let us pray this prayer. Let us say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess out of my own mouth for my own free will that I'm a sinner. And I ask you, Holy Father, to have mercy upon me. Forgive me a sinner. Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he was crucified, dead and buried for the forgiveness of my sin. I believe that on the third day God raised him from the dead. He ascended into heaven. Sit on the right hand side of God the Father. And with this, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and live. Come into my life and live. Lord, come into my home and live. Lord, I know by praying this prayer, by trusting and believing in you, they don't talk about me. They talked about you. But even so, Lord Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus, let it so be. Amen.